today we will see square roots okay square root topic we will discuss okay let me give some intro on a square root topic okay right so here Uh, today, today we are going to see only square root of perfect square numbers only. Okay, perfect square number. I already told you what is the meaning of perfect square root, perfect square number. Please, anyone tell me what is the perfect square number? What is the perfect square numbers? Power 10. Okay. Suppose 1 square, we know that 1. 2 square is equal to 4. Suppose 10 square is equal to 100. Suppose 25 square is equal to 625. Okay, 40 square is equal to for uh, 1600. Okay, here observe very carefully. Okay, all this number. Okay, all this number are called perfect square numbers. Okay, these are the perfect square numbers. Example I written here. Okay, got it my point. Right. So let me tell you what is the symbol of the square root. Okay. This is the symbol of the square root. Okay. So this symbol is called radical. This symbol name is called radical. Okay. And uh, here we are writing the number. Okay. Which number we are writing? Any number, let me take x. Okay. We are writing under this radical, we are writing one number. So this number is called radicand. Radicand. Okay. But today the radicand is a perfect square number. Okay. Radicand is a perfect square number only. Okay. Got it my point? Is this clear for everyone? Is there any doubt? No. No. Very good. Right. Actually, yeah. How do you define a perfect square number? Perfect square number we can obtain when we are squaring a integers. Okay. Okay. Yes. Suppose you take any uh, integer, you square it. Whatever resultant you are obtaining, those numbers are perfect square numbers. What is my point? Suppose, let me take here one number. 27. 27 is a not a perfect square number. For suppose, let me take uh, um, 64. 64 I can express as a square form. Am I right? But I cannot represent this number in the square form. So this is a non-perfect square number. Okay, non-perfect square number. Okay, but this is the perfect square number. Perfect square number. You got it the difference now? Yes. Yeah, very good. Right. So this is a general symbol. Actually, there is a one more symbol is there. Actually, we are using like this only in general, but the square root is nothing but here. Here we have the number 2. If you write the number with 2 or without 2, both are same. There is a no difference. Got it my point? For, for square only it is applicable. For not all the roots. Okay. Suppose it is a square root. Suppose cube root is there. Okay. Cube root. Then fourth power root is there. Example I am writing. Okay. Fourth power root is there. Example. 
But in this case, you have to mention the number mandatory here. Cube means you have to mention three, fourth power, then you have to mention four. It is mandatory. But in the square, it is not necessary to write two every time. What is my point? You got it or yes. not? <coughs> yes. Uh, no, what we are doing in the square root actually. In the square root, let me tell you some uh, interesting uh, points here. Okay. Uh, these are the symbols, signs we can call. Hmm. Now see. Uh, this is the symbol of the square root, am I right? So we are writing some number. Instead of taking number, let me take here x. So it can be written as x power 1 by 2. Are you getting my point? The radicand symbol we can write it as a 1 by 2 in the power. Okay. Suppose if you are taking cube root. Okay. Cube root. Then we can write in the power 1 by 3. Suppose fourth root if you are taking. Okay. Then you can write x to the power of 1 by 4. Now you understood? This one? Yeah. Both are same. There is no difference. Both are same. Yes. That means it is a vice versa. That means you can write this form into this form and you can write this form into this form. Okay. According to the situation, we are going to convert. Okay. Right. This is the one point. Let me tell you here one more point. Okay. Let me tell you here one more point. Observe very carefully. Uh, now see, this is the A. Am I right? Okay, suppose we have the power here, a to the power m. Okay, this is the parenthesis I am using here. Then we get call whole, whole power m. Is it clear? In this case, what happened, you know, a power m and n are going to multiply. But the same symbol, that is a power m, whole power n is not equivalent to a power m power n. Both are different. Are you getting my point? Both are different. Only when parenthesis is there and uh, along with parenthesis, is there any uh, is there any uh, power there? Then only we have to multiply. This is also clear my point for everyone. These are two very important. Let me tell you one example here. Okay, so that you can understood very well. Suppose 3 square means what is that? 3 times of 3 only. Is it clear? Suppose yeah. 3 power 3. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. 4 power suppose 3 if I am writing. In general what we are doing, observe very carefully guys. This is 9 only, am I right? So 3 power 2 is 9. So 9 whole power 3 is there. It means that you have to write 9 into 9 into 9 only. Am I right? This is 729. You got in my point? In general process. This is the general process I written here. But according to the above formula, this formula, what we can do here? 3 into... 2 into 3 we can write. So 3 power 6. It is nothing but 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. That also gives 729. There is a no difference. Are you getting my point? Now observe very carefully. This product is nothing but this 9. And this product is nothing but this 9. And this product is nothing but this 9. Now it is satisfied. Am I right? So it is satisfied. That's why we can write like this. We can multiply the powers here. Is there any doubt? Please tell me. No. No doubt. For everyone. Two things you understood. We can write the radicant number as a power. One point. Whenever power is multiplied by power. When it is possible. Whenever parenthesis we are using. What is my point? So, these two things are we are going to use here. Okay. Now, let me tell you here what you mean exactly mean by the square root. Okay. Square root. 
observe very carefully. This is true. Am I right? Here I written sixty four. I written what here? Sixty four. So now um, can I write sixty four as eight power two? Are you agree with me? Are you agree with me or not? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why because why because see. 8 times of 8. I already told you, did you remember? x is multiplied by x. So x we are taking. After that, powers we are adding. Did you remember this concept? In the same way, what we can do here? So 8 we are taking. Their power 1, 1 is there. So if I am adding, then I will get 8 square. Are you getting my point? Now, let me use no properties. 8 power 2 so I can write this symbol, the square root symbol as a one by two. Now X is this value. X is this whole value under the uh, radicand. Okay, got it my point. So then the symbol I can write one by two. here. Okay, symbol I can write one by two. So I already told you that eight, the power can be multiplied in this case. So two into one by two. So that gives us so not see 2 into 1 by 2. So it is nothing but 2 1 jars 2. In the denominator, we have 2 only. So what happened here? It cancelled out. Then we are getting 1 only. So I write here 8 power 1. 8 power 1 is nothing but 8 only. So our answer is 8. Are you getting my point, guys? Yes. Yes. No, see, so what we understood now from this uh, calculation part, what you understood? See, here I many things mentioned. Here it is a revision part, this one. Okay, this is the new for the those who are in the sixth grade. Fraction multiplication, it is also revision for you. And uh, this is the concept I used before, uh, before I said here, this one. Okay, after that I multiplied here. It is nothing but I used here a power m. Okay. Whole power m that is equal to a power m into n. I used. Okay. Here I used square root of x is nothing but x power 1 by 2. These are the conditions I used here. Okay. These are the conditions. So, what we understood from uh, uh, this uh, calculation. So under root will tells us, okay, under root it tells us for what number we can square it so that radicand value will come. What I said, whatever integer you will take and if you square that number, so the square value, the square value is equivalent to the radicand, the, such that number it is tells us. What is my point? Yes or no? So you understood yes. what you mean by square yes. root? Yes? No, let me tell you simple, simple questions. Yeah. Square root of 4. Which number if you multiply square, then you will get 4. What is that number? Yeah. 2. Now square root of 100, then what you will get? Which number if you multiply twice so that you will get 100? 